Nau mai haere mai, ki te ao marama, ki te ao rohohiko, ki te wharawananga o waikato, e tū nei. Kia ora, my name is Annika Henser, I'm head of the School for Computing and Mathematical Sciences. In this video you will meet four people who teach at our school. They will tell you about the degrees in which you can enroll, and we also have some videos of students in which they tell you about their studies. Hi, I'm Dave Nichols, and I'm going to briefly talk through our computer science degrees. And to start with, we have our Bachelor of Computer Science. Uh, this is a new degree this year, and it's been designed with an industry focus. So there's a lot of breadth and depth and lots of programming. That's what we do in computer science. We build new digital things. And in this degree, you'll get a lot of experience of building digital things in different contexts. So whether that's uh, the web, mobile, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, networking, a whole collection of uh, core technologies uh, in computer science. And this degree also contains a kind of balance. So we have uh, some elements of uh, business and user experience so that the things that we build actually are useful to people in the real world. Uh, this degree has two uh, variations uh, called specified programs, uh, one called embedded systems, and that is programming in the context of more hardware, and uh, data analytics, which is programming in the context of lots of data. So in addition to that three-year program, we also have a four-year BCMS Honours and uh, BSc Computer Science uh, for three years. And these two degrees are different to the Bachelor of Computer Science in that they allow you to take a double major. So you can mix computer science with another full subject. So that could be something like mathematics or design or indeed anything from the rest of the university. Uh, the BCMS Honours is capped with a large research project and that's really what distinguishes it from our other degrees here. And we also teach at a master's level. We have a uh, master of information technology, which has a strong business connection, and a specialist cybersecurity master's, as well as more general master's and PhDs. So here are some of our students to talk about their experiences. Hi, my name's Rowan Simmons. I studied at the University of Waikato in 2014. Now my research involves looking at the Internet of Things, or IoT. Basically, what that means is I get to play with toys all day. Nā mihi katoa ko te aroa me tainui nga waka ko roti ti te roto me waho i taua ko matawhairu te maunga me nga pairua kai mai. Ko nga te rongo mai me nga te hene rangi nga iwi nuho ai a hau ki roturua engari Kei te noa hau ki kirikiri roa nai nei. Kia ora, ko Ivy Taia a hau. I'm originally from Rotorua, but now I'm living in Hamilton. Currently I'm a Māori student at the University of Waikato and am working towards a PhD in computer science. Focal point of my research is how best to apply kaupapa Māori in a computer science context. I chose to study at the University of Waikato because of my passion for software development and decided to pursue a Master's of Science um, degree. After I graduated and I enjoyed the um, Waikato campus atmosphere so much, I challenged myself further by contributing research um, within the computer science discipline, hence the PhD. Uh, the highlights for me while studying at the University of Waikato has been the opportunity to apply my skills uh, such as mentoring students um, and assisting tutors in computer papers, um, which I find that very rewarding helping others. Another highlight is the support systems available to students at all levels um, of study. Uh, being mild to myself, I'm thankful for the support um, I've received and urge future students to take full advantage. So if you're thinking of studying whatever the level or discipline, the, uh, the University of Waikato is a study place to be. Come on, give it a go. No more hide my kite fare wananga o Waikato. Ka kite. Kia ora. I'm Dr. Claire Timpany, 
from the Department of Design at the University. For the creative thinkers and the problem solvers, this is the degree for you. The Bachelor of Design is a three-year degree with four different majors. Interface, for the students who want to create websites, mobile apps, and the future of interaction. Communication, more than logos, print, and advertising. This major provides you the skills to be a modern graphic designer. Media, where Wellywood meets Hollywood. You will design moving and media experiences for new audiences. Industrial, embracing three-dimensional product design so you can solve everyday problems in our fast-paced new world. Each of the majors can work on their own or you can combine any two of them. We would love you to join us for design at Waikato. And now, here are two of our successful design students. Kia ora everybody, my name is Hazel and I'm a master's student here at the University of Waikato. I studied my undergraduate here too in a Bachelor of Design, which I majored in Communication Design and Media Design. During that time, I was able to do some pretty awesome projects here. For my degree project, I made an app designed for plant-based athletes to maintain their dietary requirements throughout their training. After graduation, I was lucky enough to receive a summer research scholarship, which was an awesome opportunity. It gave me the opportunity to work with the Indigenous Studies Department here at the University of Waikato, which was awesome because I was able to experience a lot of different culture, which I had never experienced before. During this time, I helped create a Fijian cultural app, which is then going to be released into Fiji, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so if you want to try out that stuff, come to Waikato. I am now completing my Masters of Design, so for that I am looking at doing my thesis on VR, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of awesome tools you get to play with here at Waikato, and you get some really awesome opportunities. So come to Waikato, choose Waikato, you won't regret it. Hey guys, my name is Benedict, I am a Bachelor of Design student here at Waikato, majoring in Communication Design and minoring in Media Design. So throughout the course of three years of my study here at Waikato, I have created projects as, such as the postcards. So as you can see over here, it might have been sent to your school. And I've also done posters for my other classes with this one. It talks about the turtles and how we can save them. And this one is for a media class that I created a poster for it, saying that the children are our future, so we should follow them. I have also created a, an app for my internship for Gellher. So for Gellher, I interned for them for 12 weeks and they have asked me to create a virtual app for the system that they were preparing to do. So if you want this great experience, definitely come here at Waikato. Hi, I'm Daniel from the Mathematics Department. In New Zealand today, mathematics is very much an enabling science. For example, it's used in modelling, climate forecasting, the financial sector, scientific consultancy, you name it, every company needs either a mathematician or a statistician. Um, there are two different ways you can take mathematics here at Waikato. You can either do the Bachelor of Science degree, or instead you can take the Bachelor of Computing in Mathematical Sciences. We have two main degree programs. The first is mathematics itself, whilst the second is data analytics, which has a more statistical flavour. Our department is one of the top-ranked departments in the country, and we look forward to seeing you here in Waikato in 2022. Let's hear from a couple of our students, Laura and Dale. Hi, my name is Laura, and I'm in my final year of maths at the University of Waikato. I think maths is such a cool subject because it has so many applications from comsci to finance to, in my case, biomaths. I've always wanted to help people in my job, and I considered becoming a doctor. That's why after I graduate, I plan to work in the field of mathematical medicine. So many areas, from cancer modelling all the way through to computational neuroscience, use maths. Actually, at the moment, I'm researching how electrical stimulation of the brain causes your muscles to move. Hopefully, my research will help people who have had strokes. I'm so excited for my future, and I love studying maths here at Waikato. My name's Dale. I graduated from Waikato with a major in data analytics, and I'm now a data scientist for city transportation at the Hamilton City Council. My role is to enable council to make more informed decisions in transport projects by transforming data into insights. 
as well as making it more accessible to the community. What I love about my work is making a real difference to my city through the use of data. From prediction models of car trips to classifying different modes of transport for seeing the impact of our projects. The data analytics major at Waikato gave me the skills and techniques for making sense of the vast amounts of data we have at Council and helped to prepare me for my career in data science. Hi, I'm Panos. I'm a professional software engineer and a senior lecturer with the Department of Software Engineering here at the University of Waikato. Software is everywhere. It's in your phones, it's on the cloud, it's in aircraft, Internet of Things, and a number of other smart and embedded devices. However, it's not as straightforward to make it good. You have to make it correctly. You have to ensure that it's safe, secure, and performance. And in order to do this, you require good education. Our four-year Bachelor of Engineering in Software Engineering is an elite qualification. It will make you a charter software engineer and an expert in software and computer systems. It will fully prepare you for a software career. You'll learn how to design and develop large and complex software intensive projects, and you will eventually oversee them and assure their quality. Perhaps uh, you'll also rise to the level of a technical project manager, or you can form your own startup. Our Bachelor of Engineering in Software Engineering is accredited by Engineering New Zealand, and it's also supported by its technical interest group, the Tirahangaro IT Engineers. I must stress this, this is an international recognition through Washington Accord. This will allow you to work as a chartered engineer throughout the globe. In our degree, you will also participate in numerous internships, which will enable you to acquire real working experience with many of our industrial partners. It also unlocks graduate, uh, masters, and PhD uh, degrees, as were described earlier in the computer science section. You'll now hear from two of our recent graduates, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the University of Waikato. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Rhys Compton. I studied a Bachelor's of Engineering majoring in Software Engineering at the University of Waikato. Uh, I graduated in December 2019 and ever since then I've been working at Rosier Systems, which is a great agri-tech company based out in Innovation Park. When I started there, I came on as a research intern doing a project around sheep counting using AI and cameras. Since then, I've been working as a software engineer on a range of other projects in the agricultural and horticultural sector. After Waikato Uni, I also published a paper in an international conference, and I've also been the awardee of a Fulbright scholarship, which means I'll be traveling to the States in 2021 to do my master's in computer science at New York University. Hi, my name is Dylan Exton. Uh, I'm a graduate software engineer from the University of Waikato and I'm now working as a research programmer in the Hakaturi group within the university. My current work involves me creating uh, specialised hardware which will then be introduced into a wearable such as the shirt for forestry workers out in the field uh, with the overall goal of reducing the number of incidents that occur in forests in New Zealand. This project started as my honours project as a proof of concept that this could work. This is now developed into my work as a research programmer where I'm developing this uh, hardware and the software behind it and then testing it on myself to ensure that it works under the conditions we need it to. I'll be continuing this project on into my masters where we will test this on actual forestry workers in the field um, to ensure that this could be a viable option for the future. Thank you for listening to our video. If you want to learn more about the school and the different degrees, please have a look at our website. And we now show you some short videos of our staff members who talk about the research that they do. I ensure that safety critical systems such as medical devices and avionics work as expected. I engineer systems to work with Reo Māori and Tikanga Māori. I investigate Māori sovereignty of Māori data while researching Māori specific software engineering methodologies. Because we work closely with businesses, even if the students are at university, they may get the opportunity to work with a company to develop an IT solution that solves a real world problem. Maths, physics and supercomputers to develop models 
that help us understand the interaction between the sun and the interstellar. I investigate visual design and user experience solutions to information seeking and information use problems. I use these findings to design better ways to visualise and present information to people in mobile and on-the-go situations. I worked in cybersecurity where I design and evaluate anomaly detection tools to secure our software applications and networks from malicious. Turbulence is everywhere. You can find it in the rivers, in the sea, in the ocean, in the air, and even in space. And that's what I study. Kia ora everyone, my name is Paul, and the data analysis that I do can be used to help predict the outcomes of elections. I investigate how systems manage themselves automatically, and I oversee the design and architecture of novel cloud applications and tools in conjunction with local and international industrial. I work on software verification, which allows us to prove mathematically that our software is safe and secure. When we design a book, a website, a chair, or a movie, we make our world more enjoyable and beautiful. Designing, we make people's lives better. I work on Bayesian methods. Bayesian methods can be used for modeling complex events such as pandemics, stock markets, lost aircraft. I do research into novel interfaces that let you find and manage digital content, whatever form that might be in. Want to find a song but don't know its name, then maybe you want to try my query by having interface. I research safety critical systems and how we can ensure they work as expected using model-based testing and model checking. The aim of information visualization is to present information in such a way that we're able to extract the relevant features for our given context and perhaps gain insight that would not have been possible without that particular visualization. I'm a cosmologist. I study things like the Big Bang, black holes and galaxies. Sustainable design focuses on the development of products both tangible and virtual, such as services or digital artifacts. It looks after all aspects that support human life, from the efficient use of resources to the protection of the environment and the society as a whole. Data stream mining, making sure your machine learning models stay relevant and accurate while the world changes, which it always does. My research teaches computers to learn from data so they can better manage the world we live. I research how software-intensive systems should be designed to assure people's safety in high-risk working environments via automated detection. The great English mathematician Alan Turing managed to work out a test to see if a machine was intelligent. And he did this even before there were digital computers. His idea was that an intelligent machine could answer questions in a way that was indistinguishable from the way people answer questions. I'm interested in machines that can answer questions, but even more, I'm interested in machines that can ask questions that help them get smarter.